this all about? What it's about is you need to call right now if you're watching a 758-1020, and as soon as the line opens up, you'll be able to find out if there's money out there that belongs to you. Our South Carolina State Treasurer, Curtis Loftus, is joining us, and you're going to be here till 630. There's property out there unclaimed. It could be anything like a security deposit or money a relative tried to get to you and never did. About how much money are we talking about? Well, the state has $550 million. $550 million. Most people think they don't have anything, but in Next week, we'll deliver a check to a lady for $505,000, an inheritance she didn't know she had coming. We have large checks all the time. Most are smaller, $100, $200, $500. But if you go to the treasurer's website, just Google South Carolina State Treasurer, you'll see the link. Put in your name. Put in your old girlfriend's or boyfriend's names, your mom and your dad. Put in your maiden name. Uh, about one in three people will have money. And it's important to note, if you have checked on this before, as I've done before, and maybe it was three years ago, you're saying there's a chance that maybe three years ago I did not have money, but I could now because there's a certain time period that money's sitting there. That's right. Money comes in from life insurance companies, banks, uh, all, all sorts of places, and it comes in every day. And, of course, we pay money out every day. So we suggest that you check on your birthday and then six months later. Okay, so we want to make a special check presentation. You've asked us to have the Richland District 2 School Board here. And so, Chairman Plank, let, it, let me just say, obviously, some of you know the name Craig Plank because that is my husband. And uh, Treasurer Loftus, you are presenting this check. Tell us about this. That's right. Well, your husband is the chairman of that large school district, School District 2. And they had this money that was had got lost along the way. It was actually a couple different checks. So we're presenting this back to the chairman now. He can take it. He's got the real check in his pocket. And, they can, <laughs> they, and I'm sure they have plenty of places to spend it. Okay, let's drop this just a tad bit so we can see your faces still so so the and just so you guys know at home watching it is not that we chose them they were randomly chosen but it could be any group out there so i don't know whether to call you mr chairman or just hubby but <laughs> mr chairman's good what are you guys as a school district going to do with this check well, you know, there are so many needs in the school system, ranging from, you know, school safety updates to enhancing the classroom experience. And, uh, you know, we as a district will certainly take a hard look at what we plan to do with the, these funds to, to best put them to use. But right now, we're just really grateful for Treasurer Loftus and his team for all the hard work that they've done. And um, and on behalf of Richmond too, we thank you. The only yeah. thing is, I'm trying to find one with my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this name is, does not have plank on it, does it? No, but no, this no. is for $46,726. It really kind of blows my mind that we're talking figures that can be as large as this. And it happens all the time. People think it can't, but it does. It's an electronic age. You're supposed to get a wire, and you don't. And a lot of systems just aren't set up not to know about it. Churches and charities, businesses, people, family associations – is over a half a billion dollars. Okay. Well, Chairman, thank, or Chairman, <laughs> Treasurer, I just switched titles on you guys. Treasurer Loftus, thank you so much for being here. You're going to be here till 6.30, Chairman Plank, also known as my hubby. I'll go, see you later. Yeah, go, go find out if we've got checks in there. Back to you, Sam. <laughs> All right, Donnie, thank you. And if yeah, you can't sorry. call now, here is how you can find out anytime. You just go to treasurer.com sc.gov so there's a link there on the home page that says click here to see if you have unclaimed property yeah it's that easy then type in your name and it'll quickly generate to see if you have a match